So in this video, we're gonna help you decide what is the best power output for your property. Now, this is a question that comes up on Heatable a lot. People are always unsure about which size boiler is best for their home. Heatable's website will only display products that are suitable based on the information that you entered. However, this video will go into a little bit more detail around kilowatts and what it means for your home. We're gonna cover combi boilers, boilers with tanks, and we've thrown in a wild card of Wiesmann 111. This is a hybrid product that's the best of both worlds, potentially. Just before we head into this video, if you're in the market for a new boiler, head over to heatable.co.uk. We'll be able to get a fixed price and have it installed within 24 hours. So first of all, we'll start with combi boilers. Now in a combi boiler, they do heating and hot water all in one unit, but they don't like to multitask, just like us lads. So here we've got a Worcester Bosch 2000 30 kilowatt model. Now if we cut this down the middle, one half is gonna do the hot water, and in this instance, that's rated at 30 kilowatts. The other half is gonna do the heating. So the heating on this boiler is only rated at 20 kilowatts, and that's pretty standard across the board with combi boilers. What you'll generally find is the rated output always relates to the hot water, the central heating will be a lower kilowatt. So even though the central heating output of this product is 20 kilowatt and that's 10 kilowatts less than the rated output for the hot water, 20 kilowatts is still enough power to run about 14 radiators. So to calculate the kilowatts needed, you need to stick to this formula, which is one kilowatt for small radiators or towel radiators, 1.5 kilowatt for an average size radiator, and two kilowatts if you've got a really big sort of double radiator. You add them all up together and that gives you the total kilowatt needed. It'll only take five minutes and it's better than watching cash in the attic. So now we're going to move on to boilers with a tank and that's a whole different sort of universe. Now these are calculated a little bit differently because the boiler isn't producing heating and hot water. The hot water is done by the tank. I don't know what I was going to say. So we still stick to our calculation rules but we sort of ignore the fact that the boiler is doing the hot water as well. If you had 10 radiators of an average size, that's 15 kilowatts of power needed. With a boiler of a tank, we then add on another three kilowatt to power the tank. So in this instance, with 15, add three, we need an 18 kilowatt regular or system boiler. So as we covered earlier, combi boilers for properties with multiple bathrooms or really high hot water demand generally aren't that suitable. Now, if you've got the budget, and more importantly, the space, you should go for a Wiesmann 111. This boiler is a combi boiler on one side, giving 35 kilowatts of central heating power, and a hot water boiler on the other, which also gives 35 kilowatts of hot water performance. So you'd be able to run two to three showers at once at up to 18 liters per minute. So generally, these products are popular with people who haven't got the space to have a separate boiler and a separate tank, or people who just want to show off to the mates. So what happens if you underspec your boiler? Now, with a combi boiler, that's not really generally going to be a problem. Most combi boilers can run about 14 to 20 radiators. The issue you're gonna run into on a combi boiler would be hot water performance. So if you've got a larger property with maybe multiple bathrooms or a high hot water demand, a combi boiler might not be suitable. You could increase the size of the combi boiler, but you need a cold water flow rate to match it. You can have a good bath, you can have a shower. If you have got a really high hot water demand and a combi boiler isn't for you, then you have got other options. You can look at a boiler with a separate tank, or we could look at a Wiesmann 111, 35 kilowatt. Oh no, I've overspecked my boiler. 
So if you do over spec your boiler, it's not actually the end of the world. So newer boilers have something called modulation. Now modulation in basic terms is where the boiler reads some sensors, it identifies if there's a lower demand and it turns the gas down. The other benefit of not over specking a boiler is you won't have to pay for a higher kilowatt model, which you may not actually get any benefit from. So hopefully this video has been useful in giving you some further insight into what size boiler is best for your property. Now if you remember to stick to the calculations we gave earlier, you can't really go wrong. Just want my hair cutting. If you head over to heatable.co.uk and complete our survey, you'll see a list of recommended boilers that are suitable for your home. Can you hear me, George? <laughs>